All right, all right. What's going on, my party people? Early in the morning, 740. Had an early morning sign. It took about 30 minutes. Actually, it was done yeah, by 730. But the young ladies, former Navy, were well, actually active Navy. So we was swapping some, um, some Navy stories and stuff with each other. Real cool, real cool signer and stuff. So talking to her for a few minutes and everything um before i left so um it didn't take me 40 minutes it took me about 30 minutes probably even less than that um when i think about it but um got in got out got everything signed and all that good stuff um yeah last night i think i mentioned yesterday my son had a signing oh boy that was an experience for him um man the signing was supposed to be at 5.30. So they sent the order. He mentioned it to me. I told him, I said, reply back, because I had a four o'clock and it was for four. <coughs> I said, reply back saying you can do it at 5.30 because I wanted to help him get set up. So he replied back they, um, for 5.30. They told him, cool, send it to him. Then they actually assigned it to me by accident. So they sent him the notification. I never got the notification. And maybe they thought he was me and all of that, um, because they didn't prop, they didn't look at the suffix. Um, he's the, the fourth, I'm the third. So they they sent the documents to, or they sent me the confirmation. So I called them, told them they switched it over to him. And I don't think the documents came. Yeah, the documents. By the time we got there, it was like after eight o'clock. Yeah, it was after eight o'clock when we got there. Um, because that's how late the documents came. Remember, it was supposed to be at 5.30. My four o'clock, I was done in like 30 minutes with them, maybe a little bit longer, um, because they had some stuff they had to read over. It was a Texas property, so there was some documents they had to read over, tax documents and stuff, and they just wanted to make sure they understood everything. Um, so I get home, no documents. <laughs> and he's checking, checking, no documents, and come to find out they had got the documents and they ended up deleting them out of the queue for him um so the signer called and said hey they told me they sent you the documents and then when he called them to verify where the docs that's when they said oh we accidentally deleted them after we uploaded them so they had to so they re-uploaded them and everything then I actually went in there with them. I, you know, they said I could go and stuff because it was, I mean, it was really, really getting confusing. Um, so while we was there and the signers was fine with me being there, the um, signing company was like, nah, that's no problem. You know, this, he's just starting. So you're his dad. That's no problem going there with him. We, we're cool with that and everything. He said, everybody, the lender, everybody's cool with that. There's no problem. You got experience. You know what you're doing. He'll make sure he gets it done right. I said, yeah. So I'm sitting there with him. And while we're in there, he was at the last two pages of the of the um of the um loan docs. And he gets a phone call. And we I recognized the number. He showed me, I said, yeah, you need to answer that because that was them. Um he answers it and they said, Yeah, we have some escrow documents that they need to sign and we'll pay you extra for that for you to go go back the next day which is today so the, the signers you know he tells them and they're like we got more documents to sign and he was like yes ma'am um so i'll go back out there with him today because my 11 o'clock that um that i had that got pushed from yesterday to today then got pushed to tomorrow um so I don't know what's going on with that one, but um, it's still floating out there. So it was a great experience for him. And this is one of the reasons why I always say, and I stand by this, if it's, and it could be different for everybody. Okay, let me put it this way. It could be different. But I always believe that you need at least 20 of these under your belt before you can really, really be like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm really good at, you know, I, I, I think I can handle this because 
you got to deal with various situations late docs no docs the docs was uploaded but then it got deleted the customer is in a rush you know they're limited on time and you're lost you can't find the address because the address isn't in google because it's a new subdivision um all these other factors so that's why i always say get at least 20 under your belt so you can really get a feel for how things flow with the different companies so um and with the dip with the with each loan company signing company signing platform it's good to do that so a lot of people hop out here and it's like okay well i can do it. and you may have your first 20 may just be flawless especially if you're just saying okay well i'm just doing 20 with um what's that notary go and you or cx choice you're just doing all of them okay cool now you need to start doing some with other companies because other companies and the way they operate is different and you need to be accustomed to that the, the document layout is different all of that you know so so this morning when i get back i'm gonna be working with him on these documents because these are documents that he's never seen before um <coughs> some affidavits and stuff so got to make sure he um you know understand those and all of that and i may just send them back out there if, well i'm gonna go over it with him and if i you know i see that he's comfortable with it then i may just have him go out there by himself and actually he he can you know i just need to make sure he understands what to do because these are those affidavits where they want them to write the word none on them and stuff so i want to go over those with him to make sure he understands what that affidavit is all about and everything and um because looking at the documents last night everything else is standard so really if he you know i want to make sure he understands those affidavits so he can do those correctly and um have to do the swearing again with them and all of that and he should be good to go um he should be good to go with that but um but yeah, the one that I did this morning came in last night for last night, and they said it needs to be done ASAP. Now, I didn't read the directions clear, you know, because I mean, I'm trying to hurry up and get it because it came in for a C note. So I'm like, okay, somebody's going somebody's gonna to pop this up real quick, like, and nobody did, you know. So I replied back saying, hey, I can do it, but it won't be till like 930 at night or something. Well, the person, um, I didn't know until later, you know, they, they go to bed, they work overnight. So the order came back out for a little bit more and I'm like, and then when I read the order again, I'm like, oh, I can get this done by the morning. They said, as long as it's done by nine in the morning, I'm like, oh, okay, well, I may be able to do that. So I went on and accepted it. And that's when I found out from the signer that, hey, when I went to confirm, yeah, I can't do it tonight. We can do it in the morning. So I was like, okay, well, I could be there at nine. She's like, oh, that's the early. The way she said it was a drill. Oh, is that the earliest you can do this? I was like, now, if you want early, I said, I'll be there at six o'clock or seven. I said, you want six? And she was like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm still at work. I said, okay, seven o'clock? Yeah, I'll be here by seven. I said, okay, no problem. And so we went ahead on and got that done this morning, you know, at seven and, um, and everything so oh man you know I'm I'm glad he went through that experience last night you know with the late documents and everything that you know that helped him see that each situation can be different um, it could be stressful I always ask him what did he learn um, oh man yeah well he said he learned that you got to pay attention to the signers and the reason why is because the gentleman, he literally, oh man, I don't even know if I have my, I gotta actually show y'all what happened. The signer, <clears throat> he literally did this to the document, y'all. And that caught me completely off guard. Now y'all heard me talk about this before with notaries doing it. So he signed and then He did that. <clears throat> he So he signed up here. The signature line was up here. Then he did this. Because nothing was there at the bottom. I said, whoa, whoa, sir, what are you doing? He said, this is a legal document. And I can't have anybody putting anything underneath the bottom of it. 
So he lined through it, and I was like, you know, I was sitting there like, oh man, I was like, whoa, whoa. I was like, what in the world? I was like, is he a former notary? And what it is, he used to work, did, did some government work, and the job that he had, that was their requirement that you had to scratch through, line through, put something, you know, underneath that big blank area so nobody would add to it. And I said, well, sir, the chain of custody here, nobody's going to be able to do that. Plus, they, meaning the lender and all of them and the title company, they don't want extra stuff written on the bottom or anywhere on these papers. I said, they don't want us having you initial the paper if they didn't direct us to have you initial it. So that's not, that's not allowed. So he was adamant because every legal document that he had done throughout his working career that's how they do it and i was like man i said so we had to switch things up so i'm glad i was there um because my son wasn't aware of that i had no idea that somebody would do that and had he been there by himself those doc we would have had to reprint stuff and had to get that stuff redone because i know that they wouldn't have accepted that you know um being done but um you know, so when I talked to him afterwards, I said, hey, what did you learn? And everything, and that was one of the things he said, got to pay attention to the signer. <laughs> and watch what they're doing and stuff. So he he, he enjoyed himself. He, he, I mean, the young man is doing great. I mean, he is really doing great with this. He's flowing. He understands. Um, he's getting better and better at it. Um, and I'm going to just keep pushing him, you know, keep, you know, pushing him to get better. Um, he has one later this evening. He'll probably end up doing that one completely by himself because I'm booked and um, <clears throat> and everything. So we're going to get make sure he got the documents, get them documents prepped, um, and just have him go through. So this will be his fourth one later this evening, and I think he should be okay. I'm going to have him separate the documents out, have all the stuff that he needs to sign, get everything tagged and marked up and go from there and he should be he should be okay um and then all he got to do is just and i told him right now just present them the documents and everybody he's been dealing with all they want to do is just sign so they're not asking all these questions and stuff and he knows if they start asking some detailed questions that's when he got to get the loan officer involved <coughs> title and all of that stuff so um he did good um, very proud of him you know so man just tripping but yeah that guy yeah when he did that i was like i was like twirling in my head i was like okay and he was adamant that he was gonna do that for every single document in there his wife had to you know calm him down and tell him oh, trust them they know what they're doing you know we got this and um and after that, everything else was smooth. You know, they signed with no issues, did the scan backs, uploaded those, then downloaded the new docs. We'll, he'll get out there and do that. And I'll be out doing my stuff today. Um, and yeah, I'm just chilling. So y'all have a good one. Again, grand risings to all of y'all. Y'all be blessed. Uh, watch the videos. Go back and look at the videos I put up there and everything. Um, so you can learn what's going on and what's you can get your questions answered okay watch the videos all right talk to y'all later peace